and latched itself onto the only living soul in the building. Part of Lord Voldemort lives inside Harry. And it is that which gives him the power to speak with snakes and a connection with Lord Voldemort's mind that he has never understood. And while that fragment of soul is unmissed by Voldemort, it remains attached to and protected by Harry. Lord Voldemort cannot die. Harry seemed to be watching two men from one end of a long Wait, tunnel. Wait, Voldemort cannot die? For as long as that fragment of soul, unmissed by Voldemort, remains attached to and protected by Terry, Harry, Lord Voldemort cannot die. So the boy must die? asked Snape calmly. Voldemort himself must do it, Severus. This is essential. Another long silence. I thought, all these years, I thought we were protecting him for Lily. We have protected him because it has been essential to teach him and raise him and let him try his strength. Meanwhile, the connection between them grows stronger. Sometimes I have thought he suspects it himself. If I know him, he will have arranged matters so that when he does set out to meet his death, it will truly mean the end of Voldemort. Snape looked horrified. You've kept him alive so he can die at the right moment? Don't be shocked, Severus. How many men of women have you watched die? Lately, only those whom I could not save, said Snape. You have used me. Meaning? I have spied for you and lied for you and put myself in mortal danger for you. Everything was supposed to be to keep Lily Potter's son safe. Now you tell me you've been raising him like a pig for slaughter? This is touching, Severus. Have you grown to care for the boy at all? For him? shouted Snape. Expecto Patronum! From the tip of his wand burst the silver dough. Snape sent it to help Harry find the sword. Snape's been helping him all along. Snape isn't the bad guy anymore. Snape cared for Harry because he actually saved him at his first Quidditch match when Cruella was trying to knock him off the broom and Snape was doing counter curses to try to keep him up. And now Snape showed him to the Gryffindor sword He's saving his life because he said his word for it. He doesn't like Harry, but he gave his word to Voldemort. I mean, Dumbledore. But he'd do it. <laughs>